question is what footprint Jay has left with me. I don't know if I ever looked at his feet, but I know when he touched me with his hand when I went down to the altar, it meant so much to me, and I have really enjoyed Jay and his ministry here. We'll miss him. We will always remember Jay, besides being a wonderful pastor, because he married us on April the 27th of this year. Pastor Jay has given me hope where I sometimes feel that we are very, very short of hope, particularly with our church, and uh, we will miss him and wish him well. Okay. The thing about Jay that I think is very special is he taught us family again. I told him after his first sermon, I said, I have not seen people laugh as much, or more importantly, look at each other. You were bringing us back together, and watching those kids at the very end with their prayer, that said it all. The um, thing that Jay has left me with is to have a closer uh, relationship with God, to have a true relationship with God, uh, and to uh, maybe listen a little more to God. Jay, thank you for telling us an easy way to remember the Ten Commandments that I've passed on to all of my grandchildren. We love you and we'll miss you. I love that Jay has brought leadership to our church at a time when we really needed it. Thank you, Jay, for being here and bring, bringing God into our lives in a way that will leave a lasting impression. Hello. I uh, stopped by the church office one day. I was actually working at the church library, and I said to Jay, I think I'm going to need some counseling. And he said, how about right now? And I loved that. It was casual and wonderful, and he gave me good advice. He's a great guy. Thank you so much for giving us six months. And Jay, it's Claude Moldenhauer, and would like to thank you for the contact you have had with Diane and I. And um, it made a very good relationship for us. But it's improved a lot. Thank you. I love Diane. I want to keep up. Thank you. I think what Jay's footprint for me has been to encourage me and to help me to study God's Word more so that I will be able to know what He says and so that I will be able to learn to obey Him in everything. Dr. J's contribution to this church has been to rekindle life and give us hope for the future and for that we are blessed. Thank you. Jay, we can't thank you enough for the work you've done to help heal our, our church. Um, the footprint that you've left with me, and it's a pretty big one, is um, that you performed our daughter's wedding, and I will be eternally grateful for that. Thank you. Jay, I really appreciate the fact you're here. You brought a blessing to our lives, and also your sense of humor. Somehow or another, you get it across, and I really like it. Good luck. Jay has left footprints on our heart that will never be erased. I feel that God really sent Joey, Jay to us and that he has been such a blessing to our church and has helped it to go forward the way that Christ would have us go. Jay, a loving heart and a helping hand have made you a friend to us and the world. Thank you.
discontentment, I cast my every care upon the Lord. No matter what obsession, pain or deep depression, I'm standing on the solid rock. I'm standing on the rock of ages, saved from every storm. Wages, I'm standing on the solid rock. Even though he's gone now, I don't feel alone now. With comfort came the Spirit of the Lord. Now, with his word to guide me, from temptation hide me. I'm standing on the solid rock. I'm standing on the rock. Tonight, I, I'm, I'm really here for Jay because, uh, you know, if God gave me any gifts, uh, spiritual gifts, uh, I really believe that the, the gift that he gave me was discernment. And discernment has helped me in my job at Opus, but it's also helped me uh, size people up. First time I ever met this guy, I knew that I had uh, a real genuine human being in front of me, uh, somebody that had a heart. Uh, that God had given a, a lot of uh, grace to. And uh, so uh, I'm here for him, here for this wonderful community that we have. But there is one thing that I, uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say before we get started, and, it, and it's a little bit Opus related, but how many Harbor Club people do we have in here? A few over here, a few back here, a few back there. Well, one thing that I've been wanting to start here for a long time, and this is kind of, kind of a, a feeling of, of what I wanted to do, is we're gonna start going, I, well, this is my job, I mean, this is my, my idea, my brainchild, but I wanna start going into the individual communities. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna start at Harbor Club, if it works well, then we'll go to another community and another community and another community. But I'm bringing a private concert just to Harbor Club, and then everybody's invited. That was the only way I would do it, is if the whole community could come, and we're gonna do a little small intimate concert under the pines on September. And Brandon Matney has, has been working with me. We've come to an agreement. And I'm just tickled to death because we've been trying to get back into Harbor Club. So this is a great first start. Cuscawilla will be next. Uh, unfortunately, our brothers and sisters in Del Webb, we have a major corporation that runs our outfit, so I don't think it's going to happen in Del Webb. Uh, if you can make that happen, God bless you. I, I wish you luck. <laughs> but we're going to keep doing that. And, and this is what it's all about, is community and the sweetness of spirit that we have here tonight. Uh, most of you have heard every song that I'm going to do tonight, but this is for Jay, and Jay hadn't heard these songs, so you just forgive me, and I'll just, uh, I'll just go ahead and sing them and let, let him and listen to them. But the first one, this guy loves music so much, and if he's like me, I couldn't live without so a song in my heart, so that's what we'll start with. Without a song, the road would never end. 
right. This is not about me. This is about Jay. So, won't Jay, come on up here and do a little singing with me. How about that? As you can tell from the trio tonight, and boy, I loved all those, those good old hymns and songs. Uh, Jay loves good old gospel music, and so I picked two two numbers. As some of you've heard them, some of you haven't. But I wanted Jay to, to join me on these two because uh, uh, these are these are two good ones, and uh, uh, I think you'll recognize them. You ready? Yeah. I'm six three. I feel like a midget. <laughs> If I can help somebody as I pass along, if I can cheer somebody with a word or a song, if I can show somebody that he's traveling wrong, then my living shall not. can do my duty as a good man ought. If I can bring back beauty to a world that's so wrought. If I can spread love's message that the master taught, then my living shall not be in vain. Ladies and gentlemen, we can sit and use words all day long, but the only thing that makes those words get to heaven is believing, and faith is going to make it, okay? This is an old, great old song. Uh, prayer is the key to heaven. Speak to the 
years ago, and, and uh, Charlie Middlebrooks, I don't know whether any of you know him, he was a pastor at Milledgeville for a while. Uh, Charlie Middlebrooks used to lead the singing at the annual conference, and uh, he sang a song one, one time as, as a special, and, and it just knocked my socks off, and I thought, man, that's great, that's great. Um, and, and while it's in the new hymnal, it's to a tune that I don't especially like. <laughs> Well, as much as I like the one I'm about to sing, uh, but the but the text uh, this is by Charles Wesley, and the text has been attributed to uh, uh, Charles writing about his own conversion. Uh, so uh, the the hymn is, and can it be that I should gain? <laughs> Died he for me who caused his pain For me who him to death pursued Amazing love, how can it be That thou, my Lord, shouldst die for me Long my imprisoned spirit lay Fast bound in sin and nature's night Thine eye diffused a quickening ray I woke the dungeon flamed with light My chains fell off my heart was free, I rose, went forth, and followed thee. No condemnation now I dread, Jesus and all in him is mine, alive in him my living head, and close Righteousness divine. Bold I approach the eternal throne, 
and claim the crown through Christ my own. fellowship here and many of you don't know this before I became an opera singer I was a church worker and I worked in a Baptist church as a music and youth director so when I find churches that uh, that have this kind of spirit uh, it warms my heart uh, truly and I really appreciate it now I'm terrible singing the alto part so you just forget me singing this first part but really I want all of y'all to join in when we get to the chorus there's a sweet sweet spirit I want y'all to join us okay would you do that <laughs> in such a wonderful fashion. <laughs> I, I, saw, I told somebody that oftentimes you, you have punch and cookies and it's called a reception, but when somebody's leaving, it ought to be a deception. <laughs> it means so much to me that you took the time to be here tonight, and I want to thank you for that. Uh, as I leave here, I, I'm leaving one of the most amazing churches that I know. And, and you are one of the most amazing churches I've ever been in. And uh, Mike is in for a wonderful ride. Greet him warmly. You're going to love him. I've said to several people in about three months, y'all are going to say, you know the tall guy, what's his name? <laughs> he's, he's wonderful. And, uh, and you'll have a great time with him. Uh, pray for him, pray for me, and pray for yourself. And, uh, and in all things, may God be glorified. Amen. 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 Dr. J, would you, uh, would you give us a benediction? We'd like to get one more word out of it. <laughs> Go in peace. And may the love of God that has bound us together in the grace of Jesus Christ, which has brought us salvation, in the presence of the Holy Spirit, which makes us one, be with us forever. Amen. Amen.